Welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. Before I go any further, make sure that you have clicked that subscribe button. We have 41 subscribers from 2K, so make sure you do that. I'm on my way to Daily Man Park now for Bohemians versus Dundalk. Should be an exciting game. Here we are, just about to go into the game. Johnny's just joined me. Johnny, yeah. excited about this game? Yeah, really looking forward to this one now. Um, it's the only thing keeping me going and work all day, to be honest with you. Me too. Um, fascinating to see just how Bows. I hope. I hope Bows really go for it, go for the dog, and I think it's going to be a belter of a game. I really, really do. I hope so too. Uh, obviously, Dundalk are flying form, and you know, Bows needs the results there just to kind of get them up away from true, the likes true, of yeah. uh, Bray and uh, Sligo. And uh, both teams have a lot to play for, really, yeah. don't they? And let's let's hope they just rip into each other and we're treated yeah. to an absolute feast tonight. Absolutely, well, guys, don't forget to check it out. We're about to head in now. Uh, we're going to be in amongst the fans in the home end. So uh, if you see us. Um, Say hello. Say hello, yeah, or jump in the video with us. Don't be shy. Time here to dock two, Bowes nil. Folks, disappointed tonight. What are your feelings after that? Very disappointed. They put in a good shift. They were giving it all, but they were just too slow. The Dundalk boys, there, the big fit lads. They're huge compared to some of the lads, the likes of Watts and Owen Stokes and Keith Ward when he came on. It was just unfair from the start. Early goal is a killer, really. Like when you're when you're up against a team that's probably fitter than you. Probably no dis disrespect, just probably better football and ability as well. An early goal like that is such a disappointment, really, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. It started off a bit slow, though, as well. 
Yeah, true, true. Um, I thought Dundalk kind of whizzed the ball around a bit, a bit too much, and you were kind of almost ch chasing shadows there for for large periods of the game. Any positives you can take out of the game? Uh, well, Dylan Watts started off really slow, but coming into the second half, he played a good few balls out to Keith Buckley, and Keith was swinging them in, so I was happy with those. Dinny Corcoran looked a real threat up front as well with his touches and his flicks off. A real flair up there. I like him and Owen Stokes up. They played real well together. But sometimes Owen just got pushed off the ball too much. Yeah, look, there we are. I suppose I've, I've given Evan a chance to think of positives from the game. I'll let, I'll let you finish here now. Oh. Any positives you can take, really? Well, yeah, started off second half very well, in my opinion, I think. And got robbed in the end with the end goal, in my opinion. So, but focus on the Dublin Derby next week. And Absolutely, yeah. Well, there with Michal after... Um, a disappointing result for Bohemians, uh, a 2-0 loss to Dundalk, what are your thoughts on the game? Ah, look, it wasn't the greatest game of football, was it? You know, Dundalk got kind of a lucky goal, the first goal, and then second, very lucky as well, but very, I think it was very even. It's the time at Daily Mount, 2-0 win for Dundalk, Gerdon, you must be absolutely delighted with that result. Fantastic result, it keeps us on top of the table, um, I think in terms of the, the course of the game, I thought we were worthy of the 2-0 win, and saying that, I thought Bohemians very, very, very strong on the break. A uh, couple of great chances. Dylan Watts had a fantastic chance where a great save from Gary Rogers in the second half. But all in all, I thought they, we got settled very quickly with a goal so early in the game and we pushed on. And a, a knockdown from Duffy and it's it's 1-0 and it's the perfect, perfect start. And I thought it kind of allowed you really just to, to be so composed and get a grip of the game. It, that, that for me must be one of the most pleasing things for you guys, that, that composure. Very much so because when you look at it, uh, for a long time Dundalk have been relying on players such as Stephen O'Donnell to dictate the pace and the composure of the game whereas tonight you had a player like Chris Shields who's been absolutely excellent he stepped up to that void I think Robbie Benson and Jamie McGrath did an awful lot of unseen work behind, you know in that midfield um, Dylan Connolly he was very very good tonight I thought I thought there was times where he got into the right positions maybe the ball just got ahead of him that little bit and Michael Duffy's Michael Duffy I mean I know that there was talk that Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane and were here tonight and he has spoken about his Republic of Ireland aspirations but um, judging on the performance tonight he's given glimpses of, his, of the quality in which he's able to expose and, and show this, this League of Ireland but Bulls, they, 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 they rammed hard pretty in the second half there they got into the game you got the sucker punch of the, the second goal but they still kept going stepped going and probably you know you, you couldn't fault their, their effort in any shape or form really tonight, could you? No, absolutely not. Bows are, an, are a very young, dynamic side. Keith Long wants to play the right game. He wants to play good attacking-based football. He wants to, a bit like Dundalk, he wants to play it from the back. And that is to be, in this league, sometimes you know players talk about the helter-skelter aspect of it. That That's the kind of football that we need to be advertising. And a game like that tonight... You know, it, it, it entices fans because it was tight right up until the very end. You know, one chance for Bohemians midway through that second half, it could have been a completely different game. So, 